I mean, there should be really strong benefits, some advantage why I should actually move forward with some generative AI solution. At least this is like sound to me. Um, I don't know, Yuri, maybe you have like uh, some comments on this one. Yeah, so um, with, with a good understanding of what Gen AI can do, what we observe is we start with a workshop, with the assessment, with trying to outline the, the use cases. And we talk to different departments with our clients. Um, from sales and marketing to the back office and, and everything is everything in between. So let's say we identify 50, 60 different use cases. So now is the challenge not on the tech side, it's on the product development side. It's again, it's we're connecting it to the bigger picture and the strategy. We try to uh, you know, measure and score each use case in terms of the cost, the return, the risk, um, and how well it fits the strategy of the company what is important, what is not, resources are not infinite and time is very limited. So after identifying uh, a short list of these use cases, the next uh, best practice is what I call uh, fail fast. Basically your prototype should be very nimble and quick. You don't want to wait six months to get something out. You want to spend a week and see the results. And if it doesn't work, if you don't like, if you see additional risks, Give it a try with some um, customers, work with it internally, receive individuals feedback. If it doesn't work, look at some other use case, because if you can, you know, there is a risk for a reason of these POCs because consumers, it should generate value. And if the value is not there, try something else. And as long as you are experimenting, evolving and learning from this experience, you are moving somewhere, which is crucial here. 